more than 2 million Jews, more than 450 Jewish communities, more than 70 institutes of Jewish education, more than 15,000 students, all of these in the Federation of Jewish Communities in Russia. This is the situation today, but yesterday was completely different. Pogroms, blood libels, anti-Semitic edicts enacted by the Tsarist regime, the aggressive Soviet assimilation policies, each of these attempted to achieve one purpose only, destruction of Russian Jewry. But the Jews survived, they stood tall against the persecution and preserved their unique culture and religion. Modern democratic Russia did not infringe on the Jews' freedom of emigration, and during the past decades, over one million Jews immigrated to other countries. Nevertheless, the Jewish community in Russia continued to thrive while keeping the laws of the Torah and following the rules of human morality, projecting a positive influence both on Jews and on Russian society as a whole. There are currently about two million Jews in Russia, Sponsored by the Orav Nair Fund, over 70 institutions for Jewish education operate throughout the former Soviet Union, enjoying an excellent reputation. Approximately 15,000 students are enrolled in these advanced schools. This activity is carried out and managed by the Federation of Jewish Communities in Russia through a total of 426 regional chapters. Historical sources prove that Jews have been living in Russia and the territories of the former Soviet Union for over 2,000 years. In ancient times, Jews settled in Crimea, Poland, and areas of current-day Latvia. Mention of the Jewish community in Kiev can be found in 9th century manuscripts. The Tsarist regime oppressed the Jews and severely discriminated against them. One of the most prominent examples of this discrimination was the establishment of the settlement borders in the 19th century. Jews were forced to live in certain places and were restricted to particular occupations, usually different kinds of handicraft. The most brutal form of anti-Semitism were the pogroms. But despite it all, life in the Jewish community continued and developed, giving way to the first buds of the Zionist movement and leading to the establishment and broadening of the Jewish educational system. The Soviet regime brutally severed the development of Jewish life. Until the collapse of the Soviet Union, the religion, language, and cultural heritage of Russian Jews were taken from them by force. The Second World War dealt the Jews of Russia the hardest hand of all. Nearly the entire Jewish population remaining in the territories occupied by the Nazis was wiped out. Thousands of Jewish soldiers who fought in the Red Army died a hero's death in the battlefields. Three million Russian Jews were killed during the war. The Jewish community in the Soviet Union has practically ceased to exist. A small part of the rich heritage of Russian Jewry was saved through efforts by the Lubavitcher rabbi. The rabbi established and personally supervised the clandestine network that provided humanitarian aid and supported Jewish education. After the perestroika and the collapse of the Soviet Union, the Iron Curtain crumbled down. Over one million Jews immigrated to Israel and the United States. The Jewish community in Russia is currently comprised of two million Jews, and it is the third largest Jewish community in the world. Jewish citizens of democratic Russia can finally enjoy the much longed for freedom of religion, and with the support of Israeli institutions, they began restoring Jewish life in the state. A network of synagogues, educational institutions, community and welfare centers were established throughout the former Soviet Union. The candles that were thought to be extinguished forever were lit once again with a new flame of faith and hope. The shift in the Russian government's attitude towards the Jews signaled another step in the process of democratization and liberalization in Russian society. 
Once a minority persecuted by the government, the Jews became now a respectable community, enjoying government's recognition and support. They were given the chance to take an active part in the life of the state, contributing to its growth and strength. However, the community leaders operating throughout Greater Russia quickly felt the need to establish an organization which would consolidate their activities and efficiently utilize all of the human and material resources available to them. Thus, in May of 1998, the Federation of Jewish Communities in Russia was established. Основная задача Федерации еврейской общины России состоит в возрождении еврейской жизни, в возвращении к своим корням евреев, проживающих в России и сохранившихся как евреи после 80 лет религии атеизма. Иди. Риша. Зев. Рувен. Меня зовут Зев Куравский. Мой Путь в еврейство начался с того, что я стал изучать и преподавать иврит. Сегодня мой сын делает то же самое. Он обучает своих собственных детей, обучает учеников в школе, в которой он работает. И фактически занимается самым главным делом еврейского народа, еврейским образованием. The educational institutes are the pride of the Federation of Jewish Communities in Russia. In addition to general subjects, which are taught at a highest level, the students are introduced to the traditional Jewish and national holidays celebrated in Israel, the Hebrew language, and the fundamentals of Jewish heritage. At the same time, the students are taught to respect the human values shared by all of mankind. They learn to live in peace and brotherhood with people from different nations and religions. Когда я учился здесь в советской школе, мне приходилось очень нелегко, приходилось страдать за то, что я еврей. Живя здесь, я не стесняюсь того, что я еврей, а горжусь. А самое главное, стараюсь, чтобы когда я иду по улице, люди меня видели и говорили, вот идет еврей. Я иду по улице Тверской, держу лулав, э, тфилин в руках, ищу евреев, хочу, чтобы обратили на меня внимание и вспомнили, что они сами евреи. Так что времена изменились. Меня зовут Лена Мальцева, мне 17 лет, я из города Находки, из Дальнего Востока. До определенного времени я не знала, что я еврейка и что такое вообще еврейство. И однажды с мамой просто поговорили, и мама предложила, не хочу ли я поехать в еврейское заведение. Я в Махоне в данном заведении, нахожусь уже третий год. Я ощущаю себя уже здесь как дома, то есть я езжу домой, я скучаю по родителям, по друзьям, по всем. Но когда я уезжаю домой, мне все равно чего-то не хватает, и это что-то, это... Ну, то еврейство, которое, та семья, которая у меня здесь. In May 1992, a group of prominent religious leaders in the former Soviet Union established the Chief Rabbinical Council. Today, the council is comprised of 90 rabbis who live and work in 13 countries of the former Soviet Union. Together with their families, these rabbis travel to the farthest corners of Siberia, Uzbekistan, and the Far East with the aim of helping the Jews there carry out humanitarian, educational, and cultural projects. When my wife came to the city of Volgograd, то мы сразу же почувствовали, что это непростое место. Я думаю, что не ошибусь, если скажу, что это один из самых ассимилированных городов в России. Могу привести маленький пример. Однажды я шел из дому в общинный центр, и ко мне подошел пожилой еврей. Я поприветствовал его, а он вместо приветствия сказал мне, «Зачем ты сюда приехал? Уезжай, из-за тебя начнутся погромы». У каждого посланника Рэба есть свои мечты, свои цели. Так и у меня есть цель, чтобы в городе Волгоград остановилась ассимиляция. И чтобы в городе Волгоград возродилась молодая, красивая и сильная еврейская община.
Today, right in front of our eyes, we can see the miracle of the community reawakening. The Jews are returning to their roots, to their spiritual and cultural heritage. The aim of the Federation of Jewish Communities is to provide maximum support for this process. Federation missions include cooperation with the communities and encouraging inter-community ties, providing information that is essential to keeping a Jewish lifestyle, organizing events that promote warmer relations, battling anti-Semitism, collecting donations for social support systems, Jewish education, and the cultural and spiritual life of the communities within the Federation. For the last 15 years, what we see in Russia is just a miracle. Today, a person can go to the street and say, yes, I'm a Jewish, I don't hide it. What we see in Russia today, Это как молодые ребята, как дети просто чувствуют себя частью этой общины. The Federation of Jewish Communities in Russia is currently laying the strong foundations for its future activities. It offers a home for all Jews, provides them with a sense of national identity, helps the children obtain a better education and guides them toward being model citizens in the country in which they live. The path to our roots has become our path to the future.